Hey, welcome back to We Be Kids again. My name's Danny and I'm a storyteller and one of the founders at We Be Kids. If this is your first time visiting We Be Kids, know that there are over 250 different activities that we've put together that help you and your family boost your well-being by spending time out in nature. At the storytelling section, there's over 60 stories. They are all linked to nature and trees and birds and insects. Today's story is a story from this book. It's called The Natural Storyteller. It's a wonderful little book. It's written by Georgiana Keeble. And the story that I'm gonna tell you is called The Story of Tasu. Now Tasu, was a tiny little bird, a hummingbird. Some of you may have seen hummingbirds. They are really, really small. They weigh hardly anything. And they have a long, long beak that they use to extract their food from flowers. Well, this little bird, Tasu, lived in a huge rainforest with big, tall, towering trees and all types of creatures that range from the smallest little mouse to the biggest elephant. And on this day of the story, Tasu was flying around. Up in the sky, the sun was burning fiery and hot. And down on the ground in the forest, the grass had dried. The wind began to pick up and the heat from the sun began to make the dry grass smoulder and a puff from the wind created flames. Quickly the forest floor ignited and as the flames grew and flickered they began to crawl up the trees. All of the animals of the forest began to run to get away from, from the flames. The elephant and the mongoose and the mouse, they ran as fast as they could. All of the birds flew through the sky. Except for Tasu, the tiniest of all birds. Tasu saw this terrible thing happening. He was worried that the whole forest would be destroyed. And instead of fleeing, Tasu decided to do something about it. Tasu flew out of the forest to a big lake and there in its tiny little beak it sipped up three drops of water, all that it could carry. Tasu turned and flew back and from above the forest fire it gently dropped the three droplets of water and then it went back and got three more and came back and went back and forth and back and forth trying its best to put out the giant fire. Of course, these droplets were not enough. Many of them didn't even make it to the forest floor. They had already evaporated before they got down to the fire. But up above, in the sky, were the sky spirits. And they were watching what was happening below, sat on big, huge clouds. They watched as this tiny little bird with a big courageous heart tried to put out this huge fire back and forth, back and forth. And they were so amazed by its effort that they all began to cry huge tears of joy. And the tears fell from the sky like great rainstorms. And as the rain hit the fire, the fire was extinguished and the forest was saved. And once the fire was out and the rain had stopped, all the creatures returned to the forest. And there sat on a tall branch, dripping wet through, was Tasu, the bravest and the most courageous bird of all. So I hope you enjoyed that story. It's a nice little short story about being brave and about being courageous. 
Sometimes we face tasks that just seem so big that tiny little me or tiny little you can't make a difference. But with a big heart and a courageous heart and doing just what we can, it often inspires others and helps us achieve huge things like putting out the fire. So I hope you enjoyed that story. It's got a lovely little message too. If you want to see more stories like this, go over to the storytelling section at We Be Kids and you'll find them all there. So thanks very much. Share the stories far and wide and let's spread nature tales all around the world. See you again sometime soon. Bye.